Okay, this is week six. Um, we got number 65, fooling your tongue. So and the materials for this one are an apple, this is all per kid, an apple slice per kid, a cotton ball per kid, and we're gonna be using an eyedropper and some vanilla extract. Um, so the first thing to do is take a bite of apple and chew it thoroughly, observing how the apple tastes. And kids will probably say, tastes like an apple. I don't know, tastes sweet. Who knows what they'll say. And then we're going to, using the eyedropper, put a few drops of vanilla extract onto a cotton ball. And then we're gonna hold the cotton ball near, I'm gonna add some more. I wanna be able to smell it. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the cotton ball near my nose but not touching it, and then I'm gonna take a second bite of the apple. And I'm gonna to continue to smell the cotton ball as I chew. So the apple is supposed to smell like vanilla. It didn't to me, but if we can get some fresher vanilla extract, this is kind of an old bottle, so maybe we'll get a new one and uh, maybe use more vanilla. I don't know, but it's supposed to smell like vanilla, and so we're supposed to talk about it smells like vanilla because we tricked our nose. We tricked our, our tongue, rather, because we introduced a smell in this situation, and it tricked our taste buds. So... Uh, there's lots of great information and like explanation on the CC Connected page. <clears throat> the other one for this week is called Trickery and it's like optical illusions. So for so we're going to be drawing lines with a ruler and I think the youngest kids will probably have trouble with this but I don't know maybe not. So it's up to you what you want to do if you want to use rulers and draw the lines with um, parent help. It might just depend on how much parent help you have that week. Another option for the littlest kids is to already have these lines drawn. But either already have the lines drawn or for, the, for sure for the bigger kids, they can each get a ruler, a piece of paper, and a pencil and draw two four inch lines. They're just gonna draw one line, lower the ruler and draw it again. And so since they drew it themselves, they know that they're the same length. I mean, they look like the same length and these we, you know, if it's pre-drawn, you can say to the kids, are these the same length lines? And they'd say, yes, they're the same length. And you could show them with a ruler. You could measure them and say, that one's four inches. And yep, that one's four inches too. So yeah, they're the same length lines. But what happens when we add some arrow points or some backs of arrows to these lines? What's going to happen to the lines? So I think maybe um, doing this on the whiteboard and letting them do it with you is probably a good idea. So for the top line, we're gonna, we're gonna add some V's pointing inward, sort of like the back of an arrow. Can you see that? And then for the lower one, we're gonna do some normal, more normal looking arrows. And when we do that, now what line looks longer? Or do the lines look the same? Or do they look different lengths? This one, the kids will say, this one looks longer now. And this one looks shorter than that one. But we know that they're the same length because we measured them. So what's that all about? So it's, it's visual trickery. It's called an optical illusion. The direction of those Vs fool our brain into thinking that one line is longer than the other. Um, so, and there's a little bit more of an explanation in there and on the CC Connected page. And then also on the CC Connected page, are lots of other optical illusions which you could show them and I'm sure I'm sure you could find books about optical illusions or print some more online and let the kids um, check those out I may even do that also we can be in communication about that before the time but um, optical illusions are really really cool and fun to look at so for sure to take up some extra time we can look at some optical illusions together so that is week six